Okay, now we'll look at some other um, types of clothes, other materials, other patterns. Um, and I didn't remember to do the idioms, so uh, we'll do those now. I forgot. Um, so, if we talk about clothes which are sleeveless, or long sleeves, or short sleeves, we're talking about this part of the clove here, of the piece of clothing. Um, either part of a jumper or part of a shirt. Now, if if a jumper's got long sleeves, it's usually called a jumper. Um, if a shirt has got short sleeves, we call it a short sleeved shirt. But if, if a t-shirt is sleeveless, then we usually call it a vest. A vest is a sleeveless t-shirt, really. Um, so please remember long sleeves, short sleeves and sleeveless. It's useful for describing clothes. We also talk about coats which are hooded. It was a hooded jacket or a hooded jumper. Um, it just means it was with a hood. Okay, and a hood is the thing which goes over your head. Um, so they've been quite fashionable recently. They've been quite trendy. They've been all of age in certain places. Um, okay, V-neck is just talking about the shape of the neck. And as it sounds like, it's a neck which does that. Yeah, I'm not a great artist, but <laughs> a V-neck is a V-neck. It's a neck which looks like a V. A polo neck is not a V-neck. It goes up like this. This is a polo neck when it's it's not like on a sh shirt, but they're warm for winter. It, um, it's not like a collar, which is what you have on a shirt, which is where your tie goes. Your tie goes under the collar. OK, um, polo neck isn't like that. It's on a shirt or jumper and it's to keep your neck warm. It's when it goes up your neck and curls round and it keeps your neck nice and warm. So you usually wear a polo neck in the winter. Okay, but collar you often wear to work or to school. Most kids will wear a shirt and they'll have a collar and maybe even a tie. Okay, so um, we'll do the idioms at the end. Um, don't let me forget. <laughs> materials. Um, I've tried to put the materials with often with the clothing, which I associate it most with. So silk is a very soft, very smooth material, very smooth material. And I think we often talk about silk shirts. Um, they're not the only things which are silk. I suppose that there's a lot of Japanese dresses and other things which I know nothing about, which are often made of silk. Um, and maybe even handkerchiefs, silk handkerchiefs. Um, I've never owned a silk handkerchief in my life. Okay, leather. Uh, leather's often a leather jacket. If you're a biker, if you've got a, a motorbike, a Harley Davidson, you've probably got a leather jacket as well. Maybe even some leather gloves. So leather jacket, leather gloves. Nylon, I think, is uh, um, a type of plastic really a polymer and tights are made out of nylon and they have been made out of nylon for a long time um, so the most common in my mind tights what women put on you know men don't usually wear tights well I suppose some do in some situations but um, so women often wear nylon tights cycling shorts um, are often made of lycra there it's that material which is very tight very tight material and it's very smooth as well to the touch um, so cycling shorts or maybe gym costumes that kind of thing maybe swimming costumes um, okay jeans are made of denim so anyone who's worn jeans has worn denim before uh, velvet is a very smooth soft material again they all sound smooth and soft yeah um, but l look it up on Wikipedia or something like that if you're not sure but I associate it with a bow like what girls wear in their hair sometimes they wear a bow in their hair or men sometimes wear a bow tie yeah it's another useful word for clothes a bow tie um, sometimes they're made of velvet not always sometimes um, so sometimes in the winter women like to wear a fur coat to keep warm um, and often it has a fur collar which means it's got fur just round here around the neck because the collar is here where where your neck is 
um suede there was an old song about some blue suede shoes and so i've put shoes there and you do see a lot of suede jackets as well um, so again just put it into google if you're really not sure and you'll see images of hundreds of suede jackets if you just go to images um, jumpers thick warm jumpers are often made of wool or so we call them woolen jumpers but the material on its own is wool and sometimes we even say woolly jumper and it means a jumper made of wool this very thick very warm material and most t-shirts um, and socks and things like this they're made of cotton cotton is the plant where this material comes from and we say it's a hundred percent cotton um, okay patterns now you can have a spotted pattern on a t-shirt which means it's got spots so little round dots little round circles it could have a striped pattern so maybe i'll just do this to show you it could have a striped pattern which means this so if you play american pool you have balls which are spots and balls which are stripes and you normally have to you know pot a ball to find out whether your spots are stripes but certainly on clothes we say that's a spotted t-shirt that's a striped t-shirt you could say also that's a checked t-shirt which means squares or you could say it is a plain t-shirt which means no pattern so this jumper which i'm wearing it's a plain jumper it has no pattern at all um onto other clothes pretty easy now slippers you wear around the house they're shoes for indoors dressing gown what you wear when you come out of the bathroom and so i think in america they say bathrobe in some places we usually say dressing gown waistcoat is like a jacket but it, does, it doesn't have any sleeves um, but it does still have buttons in the middle so it kind of uh, looks like this um, with buttons down the middle like that that's the waistcoat cardigan is like a jumper but with buttons down the middle it seems to me um, I think it's usually the older generation who wear cardigans <laughs> I'm not sure but it seems to me that they more often do um, a blouse is a woman's shirt yeah a girl's shirt that's how I think of it anyway it's like a shirt but a girl's shirt um, and vest as I've already said is a sleeveless t-shirt basically um, we've got some idioms with clothes as well you can speak off the cuff which it means you speak spontaneously with no preparation with no planning um, so you may give a presentation and speak off the cuff it means you're not prepared at all you just speak off the cuff you say whatever you know comes to your mind at that moment um, if you wear the trousers in a relationship this is usually used for a woman um, not usually for a man but if you say she wears the trousers in that relationship it means she's in charge she is the boss she wears the trousers if you manage to um, run a business on a on a shoestring budget then that means that you run and you don't have to say budget by the way you can just say on a shoestring um, but if you run a business on a shoestring it means you don't use much money you use a budget which is very very small and you run that business without putting much money into the business but you can do anything on a shoestring and it just means with a very little with a very small budget okay if you do a project on a shoestring it means you don't use much money for the project okay if somebody is hot under the collar it means that they're getting angry about something hot under the collar it's like getting hot under here so they're getting angry um, and if you say I wouldn't like to be in his boots or in his place or in his shoes it means yeah I wouldn't want to be in his place I wouldn't want to be in his position so very often used as a kind of second conditional sentence that um, okay thanks for listening about clothes and fashion please subscribe and I hope to see you all soon